Okay, everyone, welcome, welcome to the Guild, to our January 2022 membership meeting. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for respecting each other and wearing a mask. I have been one who has traveled and have caught a cold in my travels, self-tested. Um, a couple times at home, all negative, and um, vaxxed and boosted, and I'm good to go. But I do feel we all can share things beside COVID, and I appreciate that we are doing this for each other. Thank you very much. One other little housekeeping, if you could silence your cell phones, that would be awesome. Not that I don't like your ringtones, because they're probably really cool. And sometimes they come in right on the right moment. So. Yeah. All right, before we get going, we are going to do the Artist of the Month, and then we're going to do the 50-50. So the Artist of the Month this month is a beautiful watercolor. by Anita Mead. So where are you, Anita? Come on up. And Alice, do we have a ribbon? Yeah, we will have a ribbon for you. But in the meantime, you will. We'll come in front here. Come in. Come and hold. Your I would appreciate it if you okay. do for a moment. We'll get a picture, and this goes into our Joy, website. Joy, move over. I'm sorry. Am I in the way? Yeah. Sorry. Thought I was yeah. over far enough. Well, she needs to get a picture, so that's okay. Thank you. So it's beautiful. Sorry. Thank I you so much. I, I have to admit that it sets quite the mood, and I think all of us have been kind of in a similar place. Looking over and do you want to say something? It's, it's a picture of my husband actually and I called it should I stay or should I go. I <laughs> <laughs> out the window in a hotel room in Rome oh, and uh, I snapped the picture even though I took it. Ah, that's <laughs> funny. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, the 50-50. Where's our basket? Denise. I know, I know you guys added to the pot. So here we come. There you are. What's the total? $176. $176. All right. Shake them up good. All right. Now, who would like to be the person to draw the ticket? Mix them up. Oh, okay. Barbara did not buy a ticket, so she is going to do the fill in there. She's impartial. Okay. All right. Thank you. I do have the glasses. All right. Before I get mine out, it's 884321. Oh. Yay. And your name? Gail. Gail. And you're a new member? No. Oh. <laughs> Bring it on up, let me verify. <laughs> ah, last minute, always kind of is 884321. Woohoo! There you go, there's our winner. Thank you. Denise, you want to divide this up and give her her spoils? Sure. Thank you. So now we'll get on to business, and it's going to be quick. There's not a whole lot to talk about. 
Um, but first, I would like someone to motion to waive the reading of last month's minutes. Okay, Barb, motions. Diane seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And now, the treasurer's report. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm glad we have such a good showing today. It's wonderful. Closer. Up, 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 up. Oh, closer? Okay, yeah. I got it now. Um, I said I'm glad to see so many people that showed up today. It's wonderful to have you here. Okay, for um, the last month's beginning balance on 12-12 at the last meeting was $3,745.61. And through today, we have expenses of $214.93. And we had an income, we had dues being paid mostly last month was $845. And we'll have a lot more that will be deposited today. But the current balance is $4,375.68. But as Beth keeps reminding us, we can't count on all of that because a lot of that will be paid to the Golden Workshop that we have coming up later this month. But we're still doing much better, so thank you. Thank you. Here's, here's your other piece. Yeah, we have um, a Golden Workshop that's scheduled for the end of the month on the 27th. We have actually two. It's at the Kirk Hall at the Good Shepherd Church. Um, it, the morning is a demonstration and he will go over all the products that are new with Golden and kind of give an, an explanation of the Golden business itself. It's wonderful and you get samples to take home, which is fantastic and that is free and it's in the morning. And then the afternoon is a class called Seductive Surfaces for acrylic and collage, I believe, or seductive surfaces, yeah. And it is $65, and we have one spot left. So for the afternoon, the morning is unlimited. You can all come, but please, you need to let us know. And I have applications in the back. If you haven't filled them out and you want to attend the morning, please fill one out and leave it with me. If you want to take the last slot in the afternoon, I would love for you to fill that out and leave me a check for $65, and then we're all good. All right. Ted Haynes, do you have anything you would like to say on behalf of the exhibit chair? Is Jean is not here. I'm, oh, there you are. Sorry, Jean. Is there anything you would like to come up and um, discuss with or let people know? Well, I just let you know that we you have did to come up. bring in some flyers today for the Florida you have Impressions to come up. show, which, which is in March. So they're, they're on the okay. table. Okay, so we have an impression, Florida impression show in March at Sterling, and the applications are already in the back, so you can grab one and fill that out. That is what she is, she is telling us. And it will say to um, please send your information to Jean Shinley, and that's me. Just so okay. You know. okay, to send your information to Jean Shinley. She's the new chair okay. for, the, um, for the show. Thank okay? And more to come. Yes. And more to come, exactly. They're working on other things, so that's exciting. Yeah. And if anybody is willing or wanting to assist them in regards to exhibits and shows, please see them. The more the merrier. It takes a lot to hang a show. It takes a lot to organize one. It takes a lot to put a flyer together. It takes more than one person or two. So if anybody has any interest in any of that, that would be fantastic. We would love for you to help and volunteer. Next on the list is the rotating exhibits. I have down um, that there will be a changing of the current paintings that are up at the First Choice Paints, and that's going to take place on January 21st at 2 o'clock. And the next people rotating in, you should have gotten an email of who you are. If you're not sure, Sharon is in the back and you can talk to her about it, and she can give you more information if you're curious as to what that all is and what that entails. Um, And Sharon is also the person for Art in the Park. So if you're interested in um, participating in that, you can uh, talk to Sharon about it, and she will be able to give you more information um, regarding the Art in the Park. And I think they've been doing a fantastic job. The new park allows for 30 people, which is more than what we had in the past, which is fantastic. Um, 
I've heard sales for quite a number of the members has been more than it has been, so that's wonderful. So um, there is potential out there. Um, now, I'm very sorry about that. I didn't write down what you wanted me to say in regards to four, four pieces sold at Marguerite's during this last session. So that's a wonderful, every, you know what, we do sell a lot at Marguerite's. It's a really great venue. We do really well there. Um, and the next sign up in the back is for March and April. The, the, the first Tuesday of March through to the first Tuesday of May. Okay, the first Tuesday of March to the first Tuesday of May. And the sign up is in the back. So if you have art that you would like to hang for that length of time for sale at Marguerite's, see Barb and the information is in the back of the table. Okay, and like I said, we do really well there. So that's good. Is there anything else? Is there, I've forgotten anything? The library is, is uh, just, there's a new, new, new show up now, uh, and it, we, I won't know until probably towards the end of February whether we'll be able to go again there. Okay, so, so the Largo Library currently the has a- The Barbara Ponce Oh, the Barbara library. Ponce Library, excuse me. The Barbara Ponce Library currently has a show of our artists. And it is kind of ongoing, but we have to kind of wait and see if we can continue it each time we we're finished. Two months. Okay. Very good. All right, is there any questions about old business before I go on to new things? Anybody? Um, Beth, yes. I have um, uh, a class where some it's a hands-on class on Saturday at the French Nest Boutique. Okay. In West Bay. There's okay. a sign-up sheet in the back. Sign-up sheet for an uh, and, and, and um, we are going to be doing a demonstration. Demonstration. Jane is doing a demonstration later, and she has a class that you can sign up for. So that information is in the back table. Okay. All right. So um, quickly for new business. Um, yesterday, the board met and uh, approved that we will be changing our financial institution from Wells Fargo to the Northwest Credit Union. And um, I always get that a little confused, but the Northwest Credit Union, um, primarily because they, they divide up their profits amongst the members of the union, credit union, that are non for profits. Um, I am also a member of Studio 1212, and they have done this, and in the past year, they have increased their um, bottom line, so to speak, by almost $6,000, I will just say, because the loans that they submit out for basically car loans and other loans, they divvy up a percentage of that return to their non-for-profits. So there are lists of $10, $10, $10, $10, $10 that come in. And so we are able to do that because we are an incorporation and we have all the documentation necessary. So that is going to be happening. So not only are we going to save money by changing our venue next year, we are also going to be making money through changing our facility, our banking. So we have um, a really, really fresh, good start looking for the Creative Artists Guild as regards to being financially sound, which is wonderful. Um, we are going to be going over um, the exhibit rules and the jury process for um, our website in the verbiage of it all. And in doing that, um, we have also discussed a need for a mentorship list, or what I would like to think is a need. So as a new member comes in, and they jury in, and they are looking for someone else in their medium, or they're looking for classes, or they're looking for help to learn more, or perhaps they even want to try something different or a different medium. So it's been a suggestion that we start a mentor list of members who are willing to be just that. And to me, what that would entail is not that you become a teacher, not that you become somebody that does demonstrations or workshops, although you can, but you could be somebody that represents us in a way that we can, you can guide them to videos, things that you have already tried, things that you know not to do, 
and things that you are um, people, other people in the area and other classes. So it is a matter of making, having them contact you and then you just giving them some information. And that could be the end of it. So if anybody is willing and wanting to be on that list, Alice Anderson, our treasurer in the back, is going to be taking names and either your email address or phone number, however you want to be contacted. So we do not have anything formally written out, but I'm throwing this out there to the membership in hopes that you all see the benefit of it and will volunteer at least making a phone call to a new member or even an old member who's interested in doing something that maybe they hadn't yet tried. So how does that sound to everybody? Does everybody kind of think that's a good idea? Yeah. Okay, are there people here that are willing to kind of get on that list? Yay, wonderful, thank you so, so much, that's wonderful. So see Alice and she'll be able to take your name and then we'll, we'll go. And what I hope to do is not only um, be able to hand that out to somebody, but also be able to let somebody know where they can find it, okay? I'm not gonna be like giving out all your information to everybody, that's not what I anticipate seeing happen. Um, which leads me very nicely into our member directory. Um, I was approached by um, a new member or two looking for a membership directory so that we, you know, so they could do exactly that, find somebody that they're, you know, wanting to, to learn from or, or be exposed with, you know, what they do. Um, we are able to put together a list and be able to send a link out to all of our members. And on that membership directory list, it will be your name, it would be your email address, and it would be the medium that you work in. That's it. And so at this point, I'm letting you know that this is in the works. If this is something you do not want to be on, you need to contact us and let us know. Otherwise, that information will be put onto this directory. And you yourself will also get the link and be able to go in and see the list. Do I have any objections or questions about this? Yes? Who else will be able to, where will the list be posted? It will come only to members through your email. Okay. Not on Brushfire? No. No, it's not public. Okay. I feel that that, I mean, I feel, I don't know how anybody else, if, if you want it public, I'm, I have members who do not want their phone numbers out <coughs> and things like that. So I'm already aware of the sensitivity of some of our members, which is why I've, we've all at the board kind of said, no, we should just keep it in house. Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, I cannot put a members only page on our website. Okay. I know other places have that, where you go in and you see all the public everything and then there's a members only and you log in and then you see all your member stuff. That's not possible for, for the way that our website is set up. Otherwise, that would, that's what we would do and it would be wonderful, so. Okay, does anybody yeah. else? Yes, share it up. How, how will that list differ from, because you're putting the same information that you want to put for a mentor, name, so Sherrod yeah, so Sher is asking how it differentiates from the mentor list. The mentor le list is people who want to be on it. Right, but you're, but you're basically providing the same information. But the directory is inclusive of all, peop of all members, even those that are not wanting to be so mentors. So you have a separate category that will say mentor. It will be, you will have a link for a membership directory, and you will be given the membership, I mean the mentor list, okay. when you when you ask for, or if you email in and say I would like a mentor list, I would be able to send that to you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, can you just indicate it on the, yeah, on the directory yeah. with an on asterisk or something? Yeah. Anybody with an asterisk is a mentor, yeah. you know. Yeah. That, would, okay. that would keep you from yeah. doing too good. Okay, mm -hmm. good idea, we'll do that. Thank you. Good. Anything else? Anyone else have a question, concern, thought, suggestion? Okay.
Um, now um, we're on to what needs to be done and always done in January, which is a nominating committee for new positions that will be coming up next year. So we do a nominating committee now, and then you have until March to bring back that list of people who are interested to the board, and then we bring it back up in March to the membership for voting. And then April is when we flip over to the new the new members, that new officers. So there are five members that are needed for this committee. Right at the moment, Sherrod Iwasaki, who is our vice president, is willing to move into the president position unless someone else is interested in being the president. Like we cannot just do what we've done over COVID, which was pretty much find our own replacements because none of us were meeting. Because we're meeting again, I need the feedback from the membership and we want to have all the members be able to participate in whatever way they see fit for themselves, which includes being on the board. So saying that, I will be stepping down and Sherrod is willing to move in, but it's still on the, on the board, on the table, I guess is how to put it. That leaves a vice president position open. Secretary Libby, who has been doing the brush fire, as well as the secretary. All these positions, by the way, are one year. A lot of us have been on for two or three because of COVID. So I've been president for two years, and other people have stepped down and moved around and have kind of maintained things. Libby's willing to, um, well, she's been a year, so someone else needs to, to step in for secretary. Um, treasurer. Alice has been the treasurer for like five or six or seven years. I swear to God, she's been forever. And she's so willing to help you train and learn. Um, and it's, it behooves us for you to, if you have accounting background and an interest in doing this for your guild, to, to come forward and um, Alice will start kind of like showing you the ropes. So uh, know that that position must, you know, is going to be needed to be filled. It's a very important one. It's one that can't go unfilled and be able to run smoothly. So, um, and then, let's see. An alternate director is another position that's open. And I think Alice said she would walk into that alternate director position if no one else is interested in being on the board. Um, so that's, that's there. Um, so those are the positions that we're looking at right now. And I'm wondering if there's anybody now who would like to raise their hand and become um, a part of the nominating committee. And what that would mean is you would, currently I have brought with me a list of all of our members, and you would, within the five people who are also with you on this committee, Divide up the list, make the phone calls, advise everybody of the positions open, and ask them if they're interested in serving on, uh, on one of those positions for their association. So is there someone here who is willing to volunteer right now? That would be awesome. A show of hands of anybody. The board has done everything for everybody for the past two years. And the board is the one that always has to carry the torch when uh, volunteers do not step forward and help out. Um, not throwing guilt or shame out there, but it is necessary for everybody to participate in some form within this group. And I know this is a small, small amount of people. We have over 130 members. However, I can see all of you are committed and caring and are here. And that's important and I appreciate that. So that goes without being said, how much I appreciate your being here. So, um, Nina, yes, thank you. So there's one. Could you explain again what the job is? I, 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 Nina Lane. All right, so Nina, pretty much, there's, you need to have um, four other people, people with you, and you will divide up our membership list and then you would um, call those people that you are responsible to call. And then you will ask them if they're interested in uh, filling any of the positions that are open. And then you write their name down if they are and check them off that you've called them, right? Mm -hmm. 
and then go on to the next one. And hopefully we'll have members who are wanting to, uh, to fill some of these positions as well. Thank you so much. Nina, yay! Is there anyone that would like to join her? She's a wonderful person. I know her. Huh. She's sweet as can be. Okay. If you want to, Denise. Do you have an explanation like for what these jobs, like alternate director, what does that person do? So if you're calling somebody, I think maybe that information is in the in the website on the bylaws, and I actually have it in the back. It's all. We, we worked really hard at that last year yep. and to make sure that we were specific in everything. And in fact, I think I, I carried around a copy of it because we had so many positions that were open and I handed it out to everyone. I actually handed everybody okay. a, a, a description. So I have that and I can easily get that to you. Okay. Yeah, no worries about that. How many members are there? 130 is, uh, members. 130? 134. 134. I'll be honest, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Denise. There's two. Yay! Yeah, actually, I have it here, which is uh, positions, duties, and responsibilities. I think I have it. Yeah, yeah. If not, I think I have copy. I might have copy. And, and, okay. Wonderful. There's two. Anyone else? I'll help with it. Okay, Marilyn, thank you. Nina, did you write that down, Marilyn? Denise, what is your last name? Minnow. Minnow. Like the fish. Okay. M I N E A U. Right, like the fish. Okay. That's three. Anyone else? Two more. Go on one. I'm fishing. I'll be the minnow. I'm fishing with the minnow. Okay. No pressure. Think about it. We will, I will send out an email to everyone um, with Nina's information, and if you think about it a little bit longer and you feel this is something you have time for, then you can give her a call and we'll be all set. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, lastly, and this is going to be it, let's see how we do when we're doing great, um, is the April luncheon. So at the end of the year, we have a luncheon, and it's generally at the country club, and we then have a, um, a show a juried show, and we also have the passing of the torch, if you would, the swearing in of all the new officers. Um, because of the unknown of, of how many people we have that would actually attend, uh, the country club requests really like they need to know now, and we're not comfortable doing that. I did stop at the church, the Good Shepherd Church, where we will be having our meeting starting next September. And in that beautiful hall where we're going to be meeting, we can have a luncheon and they can cater it for us. And um, you would have a choice of three entrees, you would have a salad, three entrees, and a dessert. Um, the difference would be it, it's not on, um, it's on disposable plates. I think that's, that's the thing that, that it would be on. That's a difference. Um, on a what? On disposable plates. Oh, okay. Not on, not on China. You know, it would be that way. I think they will serve rather than a buffet, so it would be you would be served. Um, and I believe, not knowing yet how many people are interested, I believe he told me it would be between like fifteen dollars a person. Very reasonable. And you know what? I thought about this last night. You know, I kind of was like, oh my gosh, what a nice way to end where we're going to begin in September. So, uh, Joy? And the other thing, too, is this hall is massive. Our paintings could be spread out better, and we wouldn't be crammed into a small right. space for the right. show. And the light in there is extraordinary. And, yeah. So it is much bigger, and so the light is great, and it's, it's wonderful. So for, for the people that are here, I didn't do a head count. How many people here would attend the April luncheon? Can I see a, round, a hand? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. Woohoo! I think we'll plan this. I think this is awesome. We have to have, I would think, at least thirty people to make it enjoyable for all of us, you know. Yes, Ted, you have a question? Yeah, we're putting spouses, can't we? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What yes, you can bring spouses. What do you say? more. He wanted to know if you could bring spouses. Okay. And yes, you can. Thank you. Cindy. How much of a financial commitment do they want in advance? Um, he needs to know a week ahead, and I didn't even talk to him about a deposit. <laughs> they are so nice over there. I can't. I cannot wait for us. It's going to be amazing. It's just so good. Yes, Joy. And for those of you who are. Can we have an attention for a second, Joy? Yeah. For those of you who are new to our group, we do the April luncheon in lieu of our regular meeting, but it's still on that date. No, it's not. Oh, wait, wait, because, <laughs> because <laughs> so, so we can't have the second Tuesday of the month at the Good Shepherd because the oh, Rotary right. Club is always there. Thursday. So we are going on Thursday. Thursday. So we would be going on the second so Thursday the of the Thursday. month in April. Thursday. And I will call and book that and make sure we have that all set. And how nice is that? I'm like, I'm, this is so good that we all will know where we're going in September by ending right there. April 14th. April 14th. Okay. April okay. 14th. That's the second Thursday. Thank you. Sorry. No worries. No, that's good. Yes, Ted. It is considered a show, an exhibit show, and it's generally judged. Yes. So it becomes something that that you'll need to like set up a, a, a judge for and, and an application for and, and we'll proceed further. It is one of the ones, it would be like we, what, what they do normally in December that we didn't get to do, so, yeah, yes. So the Good Shepherd Church is over off of Alt 19 by the marina. It's the yellow church that's right along, uh, it's not Alt 19, it's Edgewater, it's called Edgewater. And they have a huge parking lot and they have parking that's across the street that it's on too. So there's plenty of parking all well within the, the building. There's no need to, to walk far. Yeah, and it's Kirk Hall, and it's, it's yeah, it's really, really nice. Yes, D. Hi. The parking, when you say across the street, it's on Albert Street. It's not across the edge right? No, it's on Albert Street. That's correct. It's over where they, they allow for the... Um, trailers for boats yeah. on the weekend. So that's a spillover. There's plenty of parking in the main Absolutely. main place. I don't think we'll have any problem. Yeah. But I'm just saying there is a spillover parking area. But Kirk Hall is not as big as this room. Um, Kirk yeah. Hall is yeah, as big as this room. It is. It's not as wide. It's not as wide, but it is it's big. And it has two massive floor to ceiling windows. That let in light and light and a, and a window on that side and a window on that side and the kitchen is directly behind. Mm -hmm. And to, to remind you, they are um, we are going to be meeting there and it's only costing us four hundred and twenty dollars for the entire year that we have our meetings. We pay two hundred dollars for this day every time we meet. And in addition, I think they're going to give us coffee. I think they're going to like. <laughs> Throwing coffee and tea, and there's storage that we have that we can use too. So our video cameras.